how to install twerp recovery and root your xiaomi poco f1 running miui 11 based on android 10. if you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos hey peeps what's up manji here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can root your poco f1 running MIUI 11 based on Android 10. As you can see, I do have the POCO F1 running MIUI 11 based on Android 10. What are the prerequisites for this video? The prerequisite for this video are you need to have an unlocked bootloader on your POCO F1 and you need to have drivers installed on your Windows computer for Xiaomi devices. How do you do that? I have detailed tutorials for both of those which are linked in the description of the video. Are we going to lose all our data? No, we are not going to lose any of our data. We can go into the gallery application and you can see I do have two pictures here. One is of my setup and the other is a picture of my fingers. You can also note down my home screen setup, the wallpaper, the icons which we have on the home screen right now. All the files which we are going to use in this video are linked in the description of the video. We will first go into settings and then we need to go into password and security and you need to remove your password fingerprint unlock and face unlock why are we removing the security measures and passwords we are removing this because we need to boot into twerp recovery and we do not want to run into any issues with passwords when we boot into twerp recovery for the first time we can also go into settings password and security and privacy you will see that my device right now is encrypted encryption and credentials says encrypted we are not going to flash disable force encryption because that is what requires a format data once you have removed all the accounts and security measures you need to reboot your device once once that is done the next thing we need to do is boot our phone into fast boot mode however before that what we're going to do is let us first turn off our device and then we can press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the recovery so this is just to show you peeps that i am on stock me recovery right now so there it is you can see that i am on stock me recovery right now i do not have to up recovery installed on my poco f1 what i'm going to do next is i'm going to reboot my device and say reboot to system by pressing the power button back into android we can unlock our device and before i forget make sure that you do transfer the magisk zip file onto your phone before you start the process so as you can see i do have magisk version 20.3 zip file on my poco f1 next thing will boot into fast boot mode so for that the first thing you need to do is turn your device off and once your device has turned off you need to press and hold volume down i repeat volume down and power button at the same time till you see the fast boot logo once you see the fast boot logo the next thing we need to do is connect our phone to the computer using a usb cable or a type c cable once we've connected our phone to the computer we need to move over to the computer so as you can see i am on the computer right now and i have magisk version 20.3 zip file which i have already transferred to my poco f1 then i have platform tools zip file this is adb and fastboot and i do have the twerp recovery image file for the poco f1 first thing we need to do is we are going to unzip this platform tools zip file and if you are on windows you can use the inbuilt windows unzip utility or you can use winrar whatever you are comfortable with now once we have unzipped the platform tools zip file if we go inside the folder platform hyphen tools we will see that we have adb and we also have fastboot file in this very folder we can go back and the next thing we need to do is we are going to drag and drop this twerp recovery image file for the poco f1 into the platform tools folder now if we go inside the platform tools folder you will see that again we have adb and we have fastboot and we also have the twerp recovery image file for the poco f1 inside this very folder what we're going to do next is just rename this file so we are going to rename it to twerp hyphen poco.img just makes it easier for me to type it in next thing windows users need to open command prompt or powershell whatever you are comfortable with how do you do that you can press down the shift key and then right click inside this folder it will open up a new pop-up window there you need to select open command prompt here or open powershell here whatever you are comfortable with mac and linux users need to open 
terminal and navigate to this specific folder where we have extracted adb and fastboot and the twerp recovery image file for the poco f1 once you have opened command prompt terminal or powershell whatever you are using mac and linux users will enter ls space hyphen l and then press the enter key command prompt users will enter dir space slash p this is going to list all the files inside this folder so we are just double checking and verifying that we are in the correct folder we have adb here we have fastboot here and we also have the twerp recovery image file for the poco f1 inside this folder note down the name of the twerp recovery image file in some cases on windows the name of the file has two extensions which is twerp-poco.img.img and we're going to use that but just make sure you note down what the name of the twerp recovery image file for the poco f1 is the first command we're going to execute is to check whether our device is being detected in fastboot mode or not the command for that is fastboot devices mac and linux users who are using terminal need to enter dot slash before the command so the command will be dot slash fastboot devices if you are using command prompt then you do not have to use dot slash before the command all you need to enter is fastboot devices and then you're going to press the enter key and bam there it is you can see my device is being detected in fastboot mode the next command we're going to execute is to flash to up recovery on the poco f1 the command for that is fastboot flash recovery name of the image file in this case twerp hyphen poco dot img if you had the extension as dot img dot img then you're going to enter fastboot flash recovery twerp hyphen poco dot img dot img once you've entered the command all you need to do is press the enter key and there it is you can see that recovery was sent successfully to the poco f1 the next command we're going to enter is to boot into this twerp recovery the command for that is fastboot boot and name of the recovery file so in our case the command will be fastboot boot twerp hyphen poco dot img and then we're going to press the enter key once you do that your phone will reboot automatically and it will boot into twerp recovery at this point you can disconnect your phone from the computer we do not need the computer anymore an important thing to note here is that the official twerp recovery does take some time to load the touch drivers so if the touch seems unresponsive then just wait for a few seconds like 30 to 40 seconds and then the touch drivers will load next thing we need to do is we'll go on install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the magisk zip file in case you downloaded the file on your phone directly it will be in the download folder in my case it is in the root directory all you need to do is select the magisk zip file and then swipe to confirm flash once the file has flashed successfully all you need to do is click on reboot system back into android we can unlock our device and then go into settings and about phone i'm still running miui 11.0.4.0 based on android 10 and we can open the application drawer we should have the magisk manager icon drag and drop it to the home screen only if it tries to cooperate with us here it is magisk manager in the building now some of you peeps might have issues with magisk manager not showing up all you need to do is install the magisk manager apk manually let me open magisk manager and then wait for it to open bam there it is magisk manager in the building magisk is up to date and our device is now rooted we can also turn off the device and then press and hold the volume up and power button at the same time till we see the twerp recovery boot logo just to make sure that twerp recovery is working fine and that it was not overwritten by the stock recovery and there it is we do have twerp recovery in the building working like a boss on our poco f1 now in case you just want twerp recovery and do not want to root your device that is not possible on stock miui that is because if you do not flash the magisk zip file then on first boot up miui will replace twerp recovery with stock me recovery which is the reason why you cannot have twerp recovery on your poco f1 running miui 11 without root back into android we can unlock our device and before i forget let's go into the gallery application there it is we still have the pictures which we had taken picture of my setup and picture of my fingers and the home screen wallpaper is still the same which means our data was not wiped so there it is peeps that is how you root your poco f1 
running MIUI 11 based on Android 10 without any data wipe. And that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares, and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.